Bobby is ready for the next adventure and waiting for fence number one. He's shaking his head while he couldn't wait, couldn't hardly wait to start. And right away he speeded up and took the first fence really fluently, increased the speed right away after fence number one, looking where is fence number two. It's right around the corner, a nice inviting table, which you can take quite fluently. So I let him quite fast gallop in the beginning, as fast as he wanted to not quarrel with him about and argue. But here the fence is in the shade, so I took a little bit speed off to make it uh, perfect for him. And here you see that there's a little hole, a little downhill before we uphill see the log and surprise, there's another corner, two strides. There was the option to go left or right. I decided left to have him a little bit more set up and right away look at the speed. There's the first minute marker and we are good in time. And now I could really let him run. He is quite fast. Look at the speed and enjoy scantering. That's one of his favorites. But here's another fence in the shadow under the trees, quite a wide one. So again, make sure that he's looking um, and finding a good distance. Here I stay inside to fence number five. Up the hill, lock, down, up again, five strides, next lock and down again. He's the horse which is very good in balance. So these little ups and downs before or after the fence, um, he just takes in the rhythm. So still he's allowed to canter here before I now set up second minute point is coming and quite a sharp turn towards this wide vertical which is quite steep. So I made sure that I sit down, take time for the corner and here right away there's the water. Nice jump into the water. Me looking where's the next fence around the corner. Quite a big white one and now three strides to the narrow corner. But it's not finished yet. We still have another oxer. Before now we can say, come on, go Bobby. I try to encourage him and tell him you are allowed to go, 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 because now we have a nice steeple fence in front of us. And we are heading towards the third minute point so we can fluently keep this canter, nice stride, fly over it. And uh, when I say super or brave, he right away takes one ear back. <laughs> listening and here is the next minute point coming and another nice gallop track the ground was good so he enjoyed cantering along a turn before now the sharp turn is coming so I really slow down sink into the saddle look early enough and try to ride it with quite momentum that he really gets up the step one stride and then down five strides and the next corner is waiting. But this complex is not finished yet because still focus and concentration for the two narrow ones. This line has to be set up early and now you see angle, angle vertical two strides and he was super. So I pet him and said now downhill you can run as fast as you want, as fast as you can, because this is a wonderful gallop track where it's going towards home. We are waiting for the next minute, which is coming right around the corner. And the next fence is a table, which you also can take fluently in the rhythm, knowing that the next fence is a nice ditch with a lock on top and a little brush, so I want to take it uh, out of the rhythm again. Go around this little turn, set him up and just let him jump nicely fluent forward. Knowing that the next narrow one is coming, I went a little bit towards the left hand and now I know slow down. Really, if he's shaking or not, wait, slow down, turn find the line and he was not sure which one shall I take. Oh, there were so many wooden things in the way. 
So he wasn't sure which obstacle do you mean? There were drivers also having their fence. So I did it again, let him look and very honest, he jumped it five strides down, up again to fence number 16B. So now I took my time off, pressed the watch and said, now I ride with feeling, make sure that he just comes safe home. It was really a misunderstanding and when I walked the course I knew that the horse has a variety of different things to look at, not knowing because they were all in the same color, which might be the jump. And because I was fast, took a tight turn to try to come in the lead, it was the last second and moment where we just missed it. But this can happen and um, sh knowing that he jumped the rest of the course in the same perfect way that he did before. I'm not even angry at him because I know it was just a misunderstanding. So here, look early enough, turn, okay, and three strides, another narrow one in the water, turn towards this fence number 20, and right away let go. So we are on the way to the next table. And still he gallops in his nice rhythm, ears in front, he felt very fit, full of himself, he really enjoyed it a lot. He enjoyed being cheered from the crowd and nice rhythm fence. And now we went through the stands. I tried to make that turns as smooth as possible. Before here, all of a sudden there comes the spirit and the fire of many clapping fans which really brings you around <laughs> to the finish. Still cantering, but then knowing there comes a tight turn. So make sure you slow down, look, and then courage and bold, he was flying into the water. I was looking for my line, and now all three in one line. One, two, three, corner. One, two, narrow one again. There was not even a little sign of I'm not willing to do it because he knew which was a line and he's very honest. He has said, sharp turn. And he was cantering through the finish as if we just started. And I was very happy because he was full of energy and enjoyed it a lot. There was only this one little misunderstanding which cost us quite much, but not for our confidence.